finish mm -hmm. and obviously you know the drill yeah choose the uh, different uh, categories school. of schools yeah that you want to go to so yes we mm. did the exam and i went to kenya high school mm. i was taken to Ken oh, kenya high school all right. <laughs> yeah so what were your other options so apart from um i don't think Do i remember? chose alliance uh -huh. I know there was Kenny Girls because mm -hmm. it was the provincial school yeah. that was in Embu. I can't remember the others. Mm. And um, I say that, yes, we, we are happy about Kenya High School, mm. not as much as Alliance guys are, but mm. I mean, not as obsessed as yeah. Alliance guys yeah, yeah, are, but yeah. yeah, it was a good school. Yes. So, yeah, that's. I'm happy that I got the first choice oh, that, that I wanted. That's really nice. Yeah. That's really nice. How yeah. was your time there? Kenya High School was very interesting. So in primary school, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm the sort of person who never had to read much. Mm -hmm. To I pretty much got got it from the board mm -hmm. and to pass my exams. Mm. And so, um, in fact, I tell a story that once in, in class seven, mm. the, the class eights were preparing for their exams. And mm. so we did a similar exam. Mm. And, you know, because of how the school system emphasized on positional Mm. Uh, that that being intelligent was equals to position or sort of like um, the position you became. Yeah. And so we were lined up physically, uh, the class seven and eight combined. Mm. And I was number seven oh. overall, oh. And number two, I think. And yet here you are just in class seven. In class seven. And mm. so anybody who was behind a class seven student really got a beating of how many you're behind. So you can imagine the ones that were back there. Oh. Yeah. And uh, and so it wasn't difficult. So I transitioned. I only say this because I transitioned then to Kenya High School, mm. and nobody gave me the memo that mm. you have come, and all of you are probably the same level of maybe academic mm. uh, abilities, if mm. you may. Mm. Uh, of course, there are variances. Mm. Um, but I get very shocked because mm. I'm used to being number one or two mm. or three or mm. four at worst. Mm. And then um, in this high school, mm. my first position is 111 wow. out of 200. Wow. I was very stressed mm. because obviously, I think if you grew up in the 80s, you know mm. that you don't go home with such a report card mm. after being the kinds of positions that mm. I was mm. in primary school. Mm. So I in, in this very interesting environment, mm. I, I became very clamped down. Mm. First of all, I think, um, I, I and I I grew because I grew up in the city. The issue is and wasn't the culture shock yeah. of the school. I mean, the school is very good. Yeah, and perhaps even affluent in in size mm. and I don't know. Yes, in 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 buildings and, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So perhaps it was a culture shock, but not to somebody who came, let's say, like from a rural area, mm. right? Mm. But I don't think we got the kind of orientation mm. that helped us cope mm. with this mm. size, this largesse, mm. and the kind of mix that was there. Mm. Because you had all extremes. The diversity was too diverse. Was very diverse. Mm. From completely rich mm. to very extremely, extremely poor. Mm. And so you're kind of penduluming in between here mm. and you mm. don't really know how to mm. relate mm. Uh, with both extremes. Mm. Remember, you're a teenager as yeah, well, yeah. so you're still dealing with Hormonal whatever is happening, changes. yes, yeah. uh, in your teenage years. Mm. But now, mm. the one thing that gives you, perhaps, mm. I, I didn't realize that until then, mm. that the one thing that you're, I mean, that is a sense of identity, mm. if you may, or a sense of pride, mm. is the one thing that is now being is being questioned in yeah, this environment. Yeah. So that was difficult. And it's it's not your grades as much as it's your position. No, no, no. Mm. I didn't realize that, that mm. because mm. nobody ever then um, sort of like Had spoken explained to that. you. Yeah. yeah. No one prepared you for that. The, exactly. The, the orientation had then been done. That, and people hey, don't never worry. spoke about quality. Yeah. They yeah, exactly. spoke about the quantity, meaning yeah. the position yeah. you become. Yeah. And so, um, obviously, I clumped down and I, I started feeling like I wasn't good enough. Mm, mm. And and I just, of course, you go home and now, again, in, in those days, I think now people are more private, mm. but in those days, your cousins were still part of your immediate family. Mm. And so there was a lot of comparing. Mm. And so... Um, our cousins were like we were age mates mm. each one of us was an age mate to a cousin yeah 
um it's as if our parents had actually planned their pregnancies yeah, accordingly yeah, yeah. and so my the equivalent of my age mate mm-hmm. my cousin mm-hmm. was went to starehe mm-hmm. and he maintained his mm-hmm. position mm-hmm. and so the comparison was not helpful or as far dampening yeah. yeah yeah and so it was a very um, tough, tough mm. four years mm. i look back and say perhaps i even got depressed mm. i think mm. and and i then began to speak those negative things to myself mm. and i didn't i i didn't think i was good enough mm-hmm. i i felt like a failure mm-hmm. and so i even stopped reading because then i was like what's the use mm. i'll fail anyway mm. what i didn't realize is that this position that you have become mm. and if you look at somebody who's for example 18 number 80 you're mm. probably just the difference is the points mm. and so because of, of and then i wasn't we were the eldest of the cousins mm. and so there wasn't someone a little older to mentor us yeah and so those messages was weren't coming in mm. as much mm. and so what you hear is this one narrative or one story mm. and and so you you can't get your way out of mm. it mm. and so i i i'm not kidding when i said mm. i actually did my exams by hearsay oh and what that means is that even the set books i didn't have the energy to read oh my, my set books mm. so i listened to other people's conversations and that's how i got through my exams because oh. <laughs> i i spoke to myself and i said i think i am nothing and the best i will be is perhaps go to kenya poly not because kenya poly is bad oh, but because of the aspiration that is created when you go to a national school yeah. then obviously going to a polytechnic man. is the worst that can happen to yeah. you yeah And and one of the things I usually say and why I take mentorship so seriously mm. is because you can say just one thing mm. to give somebody perspective yeah. and recenter them yeah. Yeah. and avoid yeah. them from destroying themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So um at this point and, in time mm-hmm. again I told you about the extremes in Kenya high school. Mm. So there are some of us mm-hmm. who by um their mock exams mm-hmm. they already knew the schools they, they were going, they going to, to abroad. Yeah. So here you are struggling with Kenya in your mind Kenya poly. Yeah. I mean it was so Oh my goodness. devastating. So on, on the academics you are not feeling I'm at not. par anymore. No, no. These are the things and however. And so it uh-huh. clumped me from even doing extracurricular right. activities. Right. Right. And and so I don't think I I really exerted myself the way I should have in, on the in, different on your in Yeah, your because I was period. really just mm. inward looking mm. and never outward looking. Mm. So I I should have for example enjoyed music more mm. because I love singing mm. but I couldn't because mm. I just didn't feel good mm. enough. Mm. And and so oh, the impact of that the is The impact heavy. of that is very heavy. Mm. Mm. But somehow when I was coming to finish remember I told you my dad um lost his job mm-hmm. and afterwards he got a really good job mm. with uh, the National Airline Services at JKIA. Mm. So that was like a real boost, mm. you know. It just of happened. careers yes mm. and 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 you know life it didn't change life mm. didn't change mm. meaning or our oh, life did change we mm. moved from karibangi north to karibangi south which is a mm. bit of a more mm. aspirational sort mm. of like side of eastlands mm. but apart from that mm-hmm. there was a little more money mm-hmm. but what then after that he got a job with um, belgium Mm. in Belgium mm. um to work at the foreign affairs ministry mm. I was posted to 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 Belgium so uh, just that part a bit yeah so um when he so he he, he left he, he left the hotel yes um intercon yes um how long did he stay um away maybe perhaps two years if i'm not wrong i can't really remember and that's the but yeah the, there was a the, bit of time and that's that's the tough time when yeah. all of these things are happening They when are your happening. brother is breaking his leg mm-hmm. when when he has to do this uh or jobs yeah. etc to make yeah. ends meet yeah and this is the time that you're in high school your mm. brothers are probably also summer no, transitioning no. He, he he got the job in class seven Of when i was in class, in class seven, seven. Okay. so by the ah. time i'm transitioning uh-huh. he's working at the national airline services yeah so he works for a while yeah but when i'm coming to finish mm-hmm. he gets this he he connects with one of the ambassadors mm. and he's he, as the ambassador is relocating to belgium they go together so okay. my dad becomes part of the of the team, of the team. yeah 
and and so the perks then i don't know about now mm. is that family members of course were entitled despite the fact that my dad was a junior staff mm. Mm. member mm. um were entitled to the mm. perks the mm. whole works from mm. living to Be- in belgium going to the international schools that everybody else's kids go to mm. um yeah so mm. we were entitled and so when i finished mm. form 4 mm. I, and it, at this point in time i don't know that mm. it's when i finish that i get to hear that mm. so i was busy feeling like oh my god where will my life yeah, end in Nepali. and then mm. i finish high mm. school mm. and um You're two weeks away. later mm. we are going to belgium for holiday mm. uh, it was a, our first time on a flight mm.